have had the wonderful privilege of visiting all of our schools throughout the entire diocese and to visit almost all the classrooms. And so our, our graduates-to-be, we met before. And we had a chance to talk a bit. And the invitation of the Lord Jesus for each of you, because the vocation you have, all of you, as we talked about, is one that calls you into holiness and it calls you into witnessing to Jesus Christ. And so reminded of that, it's with those words really that we enter the reading today a bit. Before I do that, though, we get a lot of interesting questions as I'm visiting the children. Some of them are micronauts, little bitty ones. And so, and not here, but at another school, one of the micronauts asked me, do you dye your hair? <laughs> and I told him, no, this is what you get. <laughs> what you see is what you get. You know, the invitation um, to faith of the, of the Lord Jesus is one that really speaks to all of us. Uh, it's one that calls us in a very special way into God's love. And I was struck by the readings chosen for today's uh, graduation mass uh, very much first that there's a listening spirit in the book of Jeremiah that was proclaimed first. And that listening spirit really needs to be a part of our relationship with Christ. Otherwise, we're simply going through the motions of life. And we talked about that a bit in your uh, session with me, that you were really called to be people of prayer. And that prayer at the center of your lives enables you to be able to both speak to God, but also to listen to God. And to let God be a part of your life in a very intimate way. And that really draws us into the second reading, which is from St. Paul's letter to the Philippians. And it's a wonderful description of who we're called to be as Christians, who we're called to be as followers of Christ, who we're called to be as people of God. And he kind of almost starts off and he says, rejoice in the Lord always. Rejoice in the Lord always. So every day is a graduation day. Every day is a graduation day. That that joy you have in your hearts now, and parents, that joy of finally getting them out of the nest, <laughs> that's the rejoice in the Lord he's talking about. And he also says, be anxious about nothing. Be anxious about nothing. And that demands trust. Trust in God. Be anxious about nothing. Be anxious about nothing with regard to whatever school or work you're going to. to. Truly trust God in your lives. And let God speak to you and guide you in your lives. Because God will if you open your hearts, as we talked about. And he says, as a people of prayer, to give thanks. And let all your requests be known to God. So parents, your request that they may get off to school and that they may not return too quickly. Right, parents? And that their time at school will be blessed. Their time at school will be filled with the love of Christ. And he says, may the peace of God be in your hearts always and guard your hearts. The peace of God guarding your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. So it is your faith in Jesus Christ that calls that peace forth. That peace of the resurrection that Jesus has already died for us and risen from the dead. And his death has said to us that there is no more power left in death because he's risen from the dead. That's our faith. That's what we believe. You can't prove that through science. That's a step of faith. 
That's God's love poured forth to each and every one of us, saying, I love you, and I'm with you. And he says, finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is good character, isn't that a wonderful description of you as a class? Give me a yes at least. You're killing me. <laughs> Give me, use your outside voices. Yes. 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 Thank you, graduates, to be here. So the little God spoke to each of us. And Jesus says to us that he wants the kind of intimacy with us that he proclaimed in the gospel. And it's the kind of intimacy of closeness. That he is the vine, we are the branches, and we take our very life blood from him. He gives us our lives and his life truly does beat in our hearts his life and his love truly does beat into the heart into our spirits and the love of God touching you and blessing you and being with you so that as St. Paul tells us nothing and no one can separate you from the love of Christ that's my prayer for you that's my prayer for you. That you may truly feel like you abide with Christ. That you're at home with Christ all your lives. Even when you leave home and go to school, or when you leave home to go to work, or to follow whatever path God has for you, that He speaks to you about His love and walks with you hand in hand in everything you do and say. That's what your parents have been trying to tell you all these years? That's what Sacred Heart School is about. It's about the love of Christ and letting the love of Christ speak to you. Gathered as God's people, gathered as God's faithful, we pray in a special way for these graduates to be, that they may be lifted up by the love of God and that they may find themselves so intimately close to God that they are like branches attached to a vine, which is the love of Jesus Christ. Let's pray for them.